Stoltman, 37 years old, from Invergordon, Scotland, and the current Europe's Strongest Man. My name's Shane Flowers, I'm 28 years old, I live on the south coast of Dorset, and I'm 2021's England's Strongest Man. My name is Paolo Kordiaka, I'm from Ukraine, and I'm official Strongman Game 2021 champion and Ukrainian Strongest Man. Today we're in Leeds for the World Loglift Championships and Europe's Strongest Man. Twelve of the strongest athletes in Europe are coming to Leeds to win Europe's Strongest Man, plus two special guests to break the World Loglift record. First up we have the uh, Max Log. Secondly, the Deadlift Ladder. Third up is the Chain Drag. Fourth up is the Power Stairs. And fifth is the Atlas Stones. Alexei has come over from Ukraine where he's he's basically at war. You know, he's he's training to go to war and that's the reality of it. War is uh, it's terrible because people died. Uh, a lot of people died and uh, unfortunately uh, died some my friends, some my uh, I, I know these uh, people, and uh, a lot of very big number died uh, civil people. It's it's a big disaster for I think all world. Every day, uh, listen half hour, fifteen minutes, some bombed, some flash. Uh, it's terrible, and it's just thirty kilometers. Russian Federation. Uh, Bomb school, uh, children gardens, hospital, and uh, another civil uh, house and uh, civil uh, building. It's not gentleman war. It's like very dirty war. I train uh, in uh, like strongman just uh, two times uh, after Arnold Classic. I sleep just two six hour per day. It's very bad for athletes. Of course, I doing all for defend my city. Deadlift, I'm not training maybe two months. I think I can uh, show without training, good result. I understand it's not first. Very, will be very good if it will be uh, top three. It's really good. Unfortunately, uh, maybe it's not a good sound for, for you, but uh, for me it's not uh, uh, very important for this moment. Sorry for this. For me, uh, very important uh, my country. But I, but I, I um, hope to show good result and uh, uh, support uh, my country, uh, my my performance uh, and uh, all money what I can take from this prize money. I can buy something for my army. My name is Bobby Thompson, I'm 29 years old and I'm from the United States. I'm here for the single lift, not being a European citizen, but overall my goal is to reset the American log press record and potentially reset the world record for the log press. The jump from 200 kilos is to 480, I believe, and from 480 it is the world record. So there's not much in between there. So I've really only got one or two options, that's 480 or a world record. The American world record. Uh, yes, we've got Bobby Thompson going for the American log press record at 218 kilos. Um, so that'll be cool to see.
That was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I think he's got to go for it. You know, you only get these opportunities a few times in your life. He's looking good enough to do it. You've got to take it. And yeah, I'm just going to take it as it comes. I'm not going to sit here and say, yeah, I'm going to smash 230 kilos because I want to beat Iron Bibby. It's, that's not how I am as a person. He's back, he's looking bigger than ever, and I think it's well within his capabilities of doing it. Um, just as it is mine, if I, if I make that choice to do it today, then I'll do it. My coach Dan says, what do you want to do? I'm like, hmm. So 200 felt nice, didn't it? He says, yeah, it, was, it moved like nothing. I think Bobby, unfortunately, Bobby had uh, a bit of an ongoing injury. So he didn't quite get it. He just missed it. Um, so I was like, right, okay. He says, right, let's do 218. 218 in the wall. So that set the stage for me to step up. 218, decent lift. Easier at 218 kilos. Iron Bibby steps up. He does 218. What's the next of 230 kilos? I'm saying to myself, right, I've got Europe's strongest man to, to do. Um, <laughs> so I was thinking to myself, do I do 230 kilos and then just not do the show or do I carry on? We put 230 kilos on. Um, cleaned it really easy. You know, my cleaner's the best in the world. Um, it just wasn't there. It was plain and simple, it wasn't there. Um, Big Bibby steps up, gets the clean, gets the press just about, but he just misses the lockout. Unfortunately, Bibby had a little injury as well, a little tweak to his shoulder, so um, we called it a day, joint log press championship holders. So it would have been very nice to get that 230, but I know that's going to come. Event two is the deadlift ladder. Five bars set up, 300, 325, 350, 375, and a massive 400 to finish off. That's going to be a, a really interesting one because there's some phenomenal deadlifters. Shane Flowers, incredible performance of Britain's. It's going to be a pretty good event for me. I mean, um, coming from the powerlifting background, obviously, I'm used to pulling without straps, although I don't do mixed grip. It's not something that I've ever really done. I always pull with a hook grip. A lot of people were getting three reps. A lot of guys were kind of doing um, over under, um, not figure of eights for the first couple of uh, deadlifts. So a few people were doing on three reps, then um, I think we're on, there was maybe four guys that had done the fourth um, at 375. I went to the deadlift ladder. I lived uh, in training session 370 at easy. I try uh, 300, 320, and uh, maybe 340. Uh, pull without uh, straps. Tomorrow, I think, uh, I hope, pull always. Novikov usually tries to find a way to win. Tonight, no exception. You can see the effort there from Alexei Novikov. He's looking at the, looking for the time. He may leave it at that. So the plan was to do a relatively quick three. Yeah, give the give the three seven five a little a little go. Straight in, three hundred up, no problem. Three two five, no problem. Three fifty up, flew up, no problem. So I'm like, all right, okay, that's good. Let's try the fourth rep. So, um, so we're kind of, I think we're kind of neck and neck going into the fourth one. I kind of just composed myself for a little second, took a couple, of sec a couple of extra breaths, went in, popped it up, and it came up. Um, see how that felt, and then I was pretty happy to get that, you know, because deadlift's kind of been one of those wee niggles for me. Um, and this is why I think my performance this year was better than last year, because the deadlift last year was up to par. This year it was, you know, a top five finish in deadlift of all these great, great athletes. It's incredible for me. And after two events, I believe Alexi and I were joint first with 20 points. He 
went through the anchor carry into the chain drag. I think 120 kilo anchor. We've got to carry it 20 meters, hook it onto the chain itself, combination of 350 kilo, drag it all the way back 20 meters. There's a technique there when try is like picking the links up off the floor. Um, it doesn't work for me. I tried it last year and you end up sort of carrying it. Just grab the first link and with the height, it'll just pick the chain up, if that makes sense. I'm watching Alexi do it, he just, he nailed it. He's a, he's a crafty guy, Alexi. You know, he's very smart, very intelligent. And that's the difference sometimes, that he knows 100% what to do with things. So when he came in, put the anchor in, and then he knew it was fine, and then he just pulled it straight away. Not comfortable events for me, because my knees, I must, uh, uh, run with uh, very heavy something. Maybe, maybe will be top three in this event because my weight is not not good for this event. Down the course, Janasia with those small, considered steps. He took a chance, dropping that loop into the hook, and it seems to have paid off for him. That's Novakov over the line, tight between the Georgian Bull and Reno Heinler. Alexi wins these events because he's very intelligent, very switched on, plus he's very strong and very fast. It'd be a good event for me, obviously. It's my sort of event, it's dynamic, it's fast. I'd like to see a top three performance. The guys that I'm going to be competing against will be Alexi and actually I'm going to say Kelvin as well, to be honest with you. And the guys explode down this 20 metre course. Rapid pace. Very important to get that change over correct there. Stoltman and Flowers out in front of Lalas right with them. Luke Stoltman now making up ground. Needs to keep calm and smooth. And he is really pulling it back now. Tremendous effort from Stoltman and Flowers. The drag was going really well for me. A little slow part, kind of three quarters in. Just finished behind Shane in it, which was, wasn't too upset with that because I know how fast he was. Those couple of seconds maybe that Alexi saved, not fanning around with the, the clip. That's the difference, like you say, that's the difference between fifth place and first place. I was about 28.3 seconds in fifth place. Alexi was 26.2-ish, give or take. Um, and Big Kelvin, the, the Dutch guy, I think he was 0.2 seconds slower than Alexi, so that's when we're talking about that intelligence, that confidence just to put the anchor down the clip and just go. So after event three, I was sitting on 28 points, which was four points behind Alexei Novikov, who was in first place. Event four is power stairs. This event uh, for my short body, it's not good. <laughs> Five implements up three steps and the implements weigh between 200 kilo and 250 kilo. I'm tall. It's good for this event. It's not a comfortable event for me. But I must walk and uh, can't talk about uh, it's bad, I can't do that, something. I must walk and I uh, hope to show good result and I will be doing all for this, like each competition. The big pair in Alexi versus Big Kelvin from, from the Netherlands. You'd probably favour the taller man in this type of event. Three, three and a half power stairs. Kelvin was looking really good, very powerful. He just, just getting it done. And then he started to slow down. And then that's when Alexi, Alexi's just so consistent and so composed and just, he knows what he's doing. So once Kelvin started to slow down, Alexi was there and he just pipped him to the one in this one, which was, yeah, which was pretty cool to see. It's a good event for me. Um, I've kind of got this setup at home, which is pretty much bang on comp spec, and I've been doing it for a fair few weeks now, and it's it's a good event for me. It's quite a tricky event, and I think it will catch quite a lot of people out, especially because, you know, I'm one of the taller guys in this comp, being 6'4", 6'5", and when I lock out the, the implement, I'm just getting over the lip of the power stair, so some of the shorter guys, or even some of the guys with longer arms, actually, this is going to be a disadvantage to, so not just going up the stairs, but it's coming back down, so... It's going to be a fast-paced event. It's going to take it out of a lot of people, especially being 15 steps in total. So I think I could place top three again on that. Pavla Kordiaka will be good. You know, never count out Luke Stoltman, Alexei, Janasha. So the fourth event was Power of Stairs. Uh, we had four, four implements now. It's changed from five down to four. We still had three stairs to go up, so it was still a lot of reps to do. How bad do you want it, Luke Stoltman? On the way we go. And the guys both attack this, and Stoltman fires that onto the top step. It's 
accelerates down for that second and it's important to be quick and precise. This Mostelis loses time there, not positioning it correctly. No one knows better than Luke Stoltman how important that is. And the Highland Oak with a little stumble there. And he's trying now to improve his position. Smoke Stellas adjusts. Luke Stoltman adjusts. The first kind of three power stairs went up really well. The last one, the 250 kilos, quarter of a ton, very heavy. Still felt okay. But it's just the, on the last step, we had to really make sure it was fully over. And it just, just stuffed up a little bit, so points of a second, a second here and there, that's the difference between fifth place and first place. Shane Flowers actually moved into this this third place with 33 and a half points. I was still sitting in second place with 37 points. Alexei Novikov sitting in first place with 40 points. So event five is the Castle Stones. Five stones range from 100 kilos up to 180 kilos. I think I'm two and a half points clear of fourth place. I just need a solid performance on the stones, should secure me in third place overall. So, just a good solid stone run, get myself on that podium, that's the plan. I like stones, it's a classic stone event. Uh, I feel comfortable with stones. Uh, I did it in official Songman games, in my training sessions. So, but I, uh, I, I know I'm not the best in this event, but I can't uh, lift uh, all stones uh, as fast in as possible. Number one, he is representing Ukraine, Pablo Kuriaka. And in lane number two, representing England, raise it up one more time for Shane. Castle Stones and the Giants live. We are on the way and both men charge down the course and the first stone fired up there. Both remarkably quick, Bill. Pablo's smoking. Shane's caught up to him. It's all Shane, about holding on. Super fast on four. And it's all gonna come down to this last stone. And Flowers attacks it, loses a little bit of purchase there. Korniaka! With the finish, and the man from Ukraine really enjoyed that a lot. So unfortunately, um, Shane Flowers, I think he tweaked his bicep on the fifth stone, but he, he couldn't complete the stones. And unfortunately for Shane, he dropped out of podium, and I believe he finished in fifth place. But top five at his first Europe Strongest Man, it's not bad. It's not a bad performance. These things happen, he'll be back. He's got a World Strongest Man invite, and I'm very excited for his future. Here we are again. Same predicament as last year at Europe's Strongest Man. Alexei Novikov versus myself for the title of Europe's Strongest Man. And we were both pumped up, man. We were both. You could feel the energy. I'm mean, getting goosebumps just thinking about it. And in lane at number two, this man is representing Ukraine. He is the former World's Strongest Man. Raise it up for Alexei. We go and look at the pace over the ground from both these men attacking that. Novikov again throws that second stone on there. The third and Stoltman throws the gap on him. Stoltman may be in front there. And that's incredible from the Highland Oak. Really attacking that one. There's the hands up. Oh my God, that was close. So fast. I'm so you, powerful. I have no idea who got that again. It's another super close finish. Wow, wow. Brothers in strength. These guys are amazing. It was class. You know, that moment with Alexei, seeing the, the emotion and the, the sheer happiness in Alexei Novikov's eyes for winning Europe's Strongest Man. That's, for me, that's what Strongman's all about, is the raw emotions that you have. I'm getting to witness that with Alexei is something I'm, I'm always going to remember for, for the rest of my life. You know, that was such a special moment. The way the crowd reacted, they were up on their feet, cheering. And, you know, it's, it's, it's wow. moments like that that almost don't seem real. You know, we're competing in a huge arena. Alexei Novikov's come across from the war. 
won Europe's strongest man. I've had the great privilege of going up against him again to defend my title. Unfortunately for me, it didn't happen, but I couldn't be happier for Alexei Novikov to be Europe's strongest man. And ladies and gentlemen, one more time, we want you to raise the roof and rip it off for the new Europe's strongest man for 2022, representing Ukraine, Alexei I'm really very happy for this competition and my win and uh, top three, it's a really great, great strongman and my friends too. Very, uh, I very appreciate for your support. But it's very funny all and uh, really all happy. But in Ukraine now, war and it's for me, please. Uh, just one minute without any voice. Um, respect to all died in Ukraine, please. A moment of silence, please, folks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alexei. Thank you very much, everybody.